give me faith give me designers give me this rubbish you die and in five minutes they will bury you and all that thing will not carry any sense. there are many of us can i tell you this the call of god is a dangerous thing it will remain on your life even if it's after 20 years you just keep doing your thing keep running away from it it will haunt you there is a dimension of satisfaction you will never have until the day you return back to your knees and say finally oh god what is the worth of my life if i'm not serving your purposes this has nothing to do with being a pastor and this has nothing to do with a pastor's wife Today is Valentine's now. You will not imagine how many people, rather than focusing on seeing how can souls come to the kingdom, it is flesh, flesh, flesh. What can I get? What can I eat? What can I wear? Whereas souls are dying every day. There are whole families with not one person who knows about Jesus. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. The Holy Spirit is speaking to many people who are listening. Some of you, the training God gave you is not just for a civil servant. The, the way God raised you is not just for someone who will just you will receive the training of one who should carry fire to the nations but many of us have allowed the mundane pursuits of life to erode our hearts there are many ways to participate in evangelism number one is prayer and intercession for the lost nobody has an excuse for that one you can take time most of our prayer now is give me give me tea breakthrough Listen, may God deliver us whatever has happened to our hearts that has eroded the passion for souls. Give me faith. Give me designers. Give me this. Rubbish. You die and in five minutes they will bury you and all that thing will not carry any sense. There are many of us, can I tell you this? The call of God is a dangerous thing. It will remain on your life even if it's after 20 years you just keep doing your thing keep running away from it it will haunt you there is a dimension of satisfaction you will never have until the day you return back to your knees and say finally oh god what is the worth of my life if i'm not serving your purposes this has nothing to do with being a pastor and this has nothing to do with a pastor's wife Today's Valentine's now. You will not imagine how many people, rather than focusing on seeing how can souls come to the kingdom, it is flesh, flesh, flesh. What can I get? What can I eat? What can I wear? Whereas souls are dying every day. There are whole families with not one person who knows about Jesus. There are some of you, you are looking at me now, your parents may not have up to five years left, up to ten years left. They are about to go. And God is saying, will you let them go to hell? They were good people, only that they were trained as traditionalists. Can you make up your mind? It's not about London or America. Start from where you are. So the Lord is speaking to us. The first way to participate in soul winning and the global harvest is prayer and intercession the second level is active evangelism not just when you meet as a church and they give you a card and you branch and go to your friend's house and sit down there for one hour and you say and you come back to church no let me tell you this when god started with us i told you yesterday the workers i will not go back to sleep until i see that at least one person is saying evangelism in the car wherever God not that you move around harassing people no God bless you I have a message 
and a good news to tell you. I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. And the person looks at you and says, I'm already, no, 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 that's not the issue. And you save that one person. I will never forget, years ago, there was a gentleman who got born again, and I helped that guy and followed. Later on, he would become, I think, one of the faculty presidents. And then, that time, I used to preach a lot in the campus. They had invited me to come and preach. And to my shock, when I came, the people who were receiving me was that guy. He was now the president of that campus, but that uh, fellowship. And he said, thank you, sir. You know, when Jesus comes that day, when we stand, I will see my grandfather with the souls that he won. I will see Billy Graham. Oh, may I not be ashamed. When I stand before him and all you have is a bag of money and mundane things you were looking for, a bag of shirts, a bag of cars, a bag of real estate, as wonderful as those things are, I want to be able to stand and join the patriarchs and say, I may not have done much, oh God, but this is what we have brought to greet you. There used to be an old hymn that will sing. What do most I go and empty handed? I know many people don't know it. You only know the one that God, you must answer me now. Must I meet my savior so? He said, Not one soul with which to greet him. This is how we were trained in the seminary. Not a search for mundane things. It was Jesus. It was souls. It was kingdom. I'm not teaching you to be irresponsible. You know that already. But I'm shaking you up because something is happening to this our generation. We don't know it's an attack. Return back to the things that matter. We don't have forever in this world. No matter how young you are, you do not have forever in this world. If I go to meet the Lord today, let it just be that I did not finish my assignment, but let it be that at least I did something. If you are not ready for evangelism, forget about the prayer for power. Forget about the prayer for money. There is only, let me tell you this, there is only so much money can do to you as a person. Believe me. It's just a spirit of poverty that makes us look like it's all about money. When God really blesses you, there is not much you will do with money. You will look at it and it's like dust. The only thing that gives credence to your pursuit is Jesus and the nations. Evangelism, intercession and prayer. Number two, active evangelism. Then number three, financing the gospel. Number three, financing the gospel. That is the third way to participate. And then number four is those who use influence to protect those who are sent. Are you seeing the levels now? There is prayer and intercession. There is the goers active in evangelism. There is those who now finance them so that they don't worry about matter of food and their children's school fees. So they can focus on the gospel. Then because we live in an evil world, there are those who must have the influence in government and so on and so forth to protect those who are sent. Many missionaries were killed because there were no men of influence who were interested in the gospel. We are not part of those who will just be killed like chickens, no. There must be people who have influence who can protect the missionaries so that they can also raise their children while they preach. I don't know how I got here. It's just, it's just something that is in your heart. Remember you were once saved though. Somebody had to preach to you. One day, like some of you, I'm about to make an altar call now. There are some of you who were invited, whether it's overflow, one, two, three, wherever. In fact, we're going to sing that song, Must I Go and Empty Hand? You know the song? Most of you don't know it. Only know these are songs that you write. And sing the, just the chorus. Must I go and empty hand? Or look for it there. Whilst we're singing that song, listen, please. You are here, you are inside or outside. And you're saying, Apostle, this night, I came from Koinonia and I need Jesus. This is not the matter of ministry. This is a matter of your relationship. There is a, there is a huge need for global evangelism. Whether you are in overflow, one, two, three. If you are following online from whatever nation on the earth, please I'd like you to tremble and break down sincerely. But if you are here, please those who will be coming, aside from overflow three, 
I will request you to just go to the front of your projector stand. But inside here, overflow one, two, three, you are giving your heart to Jesus or you are dedicating your life. As we sing this song passionately, I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus who is your maker. Celebrate them as they come. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Must I go and Please stand because of space. Stand. Stand because of space. God bless you. Keep coming. Don't be ashamed. Keep coming. Run. Run to Jesus. message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you